The entire history of the Davidic throne in the British Isles is linked to a mysterious, yet biblically significant, coronation stone called, by the Irish, the Stone of Destiny. Beginning with the Malaysians Arahit Prince Sohi, every monarch of Ireland, Scotland, and Britain has been crowned on this very stone, including, recently the deceased Queen Elizabeth II. This can hardly be a coincidence. The stone was delivered to the Isles by Jeremiah the prophet when he brought King Zedekiah's daughter, Tethi, to Ireland to marry into the Judah's Arahit royal line. The stone was subsequently relocated to Scotland, where it was used in the coronation of Scottish kings. Finally, it was moved in in the year of our Lord 1296 to Westminster Abbey in London. There, King Edward I had a special coronation chair built around the stone. Every king or queen of Britain has since been crowned in that chair. Plans are already underway to ensure King Charles II will be sitting over the Stone of Destiny when the crown is placed on his head. Until the late 1950s, there was a plate attached to the chair near the stone with the inscription Jacob's Pillar Stone an obvious reference to Genesis 28:18. In 1996, the stone was returned, by request, to Scotland, where it is presently stored in Edinburgh Castle. The coronation stone will be returned to Westminster Abbey upon the crowning of the next monarch of Great Britain, King Charles II. The stone measures about 26 inches long, 16 inches wide, and 10 inches thick. Its battered surface is marked by a crack running lengthwise. Iron rings are attached to each end through which a pole can be inserted to transport the stone. This was the common manner in which the tabernacle furnishings were carried. See Exodus chapter 25. But what is the origin of this mysterious stone? Was it really Jacob's pillar? Did Jeremiah really bring the stone to Ireland, and why? We are particularly interested in the connection of Mulek, the Prince of Judah, to the founder of the city of Zarahemla on the Mississippi River in the heartland of America. We are only beginning to look at this question and we expect that we will have more to say about the linkage of Jeremiah to the Stone of Destiny and how that stone links Mulek to the Phoenician 600 years before Christ.